Greetings, Zero here. Welcome back to the Steel Mod type run of EV Emerald. Last time, well, we ran into a lot of technical problems, trying to get a few more things before Victory Road. But now, fuck off. As I was saying, it's time to make our way to, to the Pokemon League. But first, let's pop a repel, because otherwise I'm going to just go crazy. So, proceeding due east from the Seafloor Cavern, we head over this way. I've already battled these trainers. I'm just using all the crappy repels, because, well, might as well while I have them. And we face a massive waterfall. Now we finally reached the southern portion of Evergrande City. Well, not much of a city to be honest. And there's Scott. Okay, so first things first, let's just top off our power points, and I'm gonna need to grab some of my HM slaves. Because I'm gonna need strength, rock smash. Surf and Waterfall to get through, and Flash would just be nice to have. So, uh, give me a second. Okay, so now we got Relicant for Surf, Waterfall, Strength, and Rock Smash, and we can get one last use out of that shiny Spinda for Flash. Now, without further ado, let's get moving. Now, one thing I want to point out. You see that? I had to make some modifications to this map as well, because this map was broken too. I would have gotten softlocked here, in fact. If, well, if I wasn't softlocked earlier on the way to Lava Ridge Town. So, uh, now we're still gonna go through this properly, but this just means that I can get to the various things I would like to without, uh. Like, for example, the, there's a PowerPoint up somewhere on this floor. Nah. Go away, Hariyama. Anyway, as I was saying, um... But we're gonna do this the quote-unquote proper way. And, uh, well... First, let's switch over to Agron, because we have ourselves... Battle! With Wally. And this kid... He has really been training. He's a lot tougher. But... At least in Emerald, it's pretty much right at the entrance. In Ruby and Sapphire, it's just mean. He ambushes you right at the exit. After you've worn yourself out against more than a dozen trainers and all the wild Pokemon on the way, it's obnoxious. That didn't do as much damage as I had hoped. Oh, right. Dragon Claw's special. Dragon attacks are all special. Oh, I didn't think about that. Ugh. Well. Okay. Okay, you know what? Just fuck off, Altaria. Get fucked. You would. Sucks to be you, Wally. Alrighty. Go get him, Registeel. You know, we're gonna boost my power a bit, because you're not gonna do much damage to me.
Now, of course, Curse isn't going to boost Thunderbolt, but that's besides the point. Alright, we're just gonna heal up real quick. I don't want to take any chances. You would! You would! Of course, you're always gonna get paralysis when you want. Parahax piece of shit. Nope, no. Not this time, Magneton. I don't think I needed that, but we take those. Down you go. I wonder why did I start off with Registeel immediately? Um, that's because if I recall correctly, Altaria knows Earthquake. Then again, it would have been even more deadly against Agron. Alright. Future Sight is such a shit move. If I recall correctly, you can even miss. What's the point? I mean, at least Jirachi's version of it, Doom Desire. Well, it's Steel type, so. It's different. And of course, well, deals more damage, too. Leech Seed ain't gonna save you, Roselia. That's all she wrote. If it makes you feel any better, you put up a better fight than Maxi did. Or Archie. Or really, most trainers. Anyways, I'm gonna go back and do a little. Moving on, we come across another trainer up here. Unlike some of the trainers in this dungeon, I think this... There's a few mandatory trainers, and this is one of them. Okay, maybe Magnemite wasn't the best to send out against a Roselia, but we'll see. Uh, I can still two-shot it. Oh, you would. You would. And let me guess, you're gonna have a full restore. Okay, if you're gonna waste my time like that, fuck you. I don't want this to be like... I don't want this to be like 45 minutes long because of trainers wanting to stall me out. Fuck that. Anyways, it's dark down here, but that's besides the point. I want you to see something. Yep, that's how this map is broken. So, uh, now you know why I'm doing what I'm doing. Anyways, moving on. So, that's what I brought you for. Hmm. 
Okay, yeah, we want to push you over here. Get you speed up here, so... Is it you that uses Claydol? I don't know. Yes, it is. Okay. That was... That was dumb of me. Done. And, uh, yeah, that ladder will take us up to where the power point up normally is, but, of course, because I don't know how the hack dev did it, but he broke some of the maps. Uh, yeah, that won't take me up there. I actually put some stairs in to take me up there instead. All right, let's just make this quick. Okay. You get a forest store. Good. And now we're going to clear out the lower sections real quick. Nope! We're not doing that. You would. Level up. Okay, so now we can go up here, but we're gonna go this way first, because I want you to see someone. So hey, remember back in episode 9 we fought the wind straights? Yeah, this is, uh, this is the sun. Naz- Oh, fuck off! Yeah, seems legit. Yeah, kind of underwhelming. Really, dude? You lose once and you give up and go home? Come on! You're pathetic. Alright, anyways. Uh, we can go down here. There's... Well, we can take the ladder up. In this. Oh, I got to say, that's not right. Or was it? Hmm. Yeah. Like I said, I tried to find the updated version that allegedly exists, but all the down links I could find were for version 1.0. So if someone else can find it, well. My recommendation is use that one. Okay, fuck off. Hello? Okay. Oh, fuck you. Fuck. You. Okay. Now, this lantern's probably not gonna use it, but if I call correctly, 
This is that infamous lantern that knows Earthquake. Which is the most blatantly cheating move. Uh, it, like, that's the most blatant case of cheating that any of the AI trainers have used throughout the series. Or at least I think. Or was that in... Was that in this one, or was that in Gen 4? All I know is it was in Victory... It's in one of the Victory Roads, and it's pretty blatant. Okay. Down we go. There's a couple more trainers we can battle. Okay, so yeah, this one's broken too. In this case, it always takes me to that ladder. Uh, hmm. Not optimal. Come on. There's a couple more trainers I could battle, but for some reason I can't get to them. Not normally, anyway. Something's not right. No, this... Okay, you know what? It'd be easier if I just go back to the damn entrance. Okay, so... To the developer of this hack, if you're watching this, I sincerely hope that at some point you fixed this, and that I just couldn't find the link. But even then, I'm still not particularly amused if it does exist and the link is just really hard to find. Because that means every single link is outdated. Oh yeah, also I taught Laxana Sludge Bomb. Fuck off, Magneton! Anyways, going. Moving on. Yeah, there's... Ah. Oh. Well, looks like I fucked that up too! Broken-ass maps. No, you know what? I still blame the hack dev for this, because that wouldn't be necessary if he could code properly. It's fucking amateur hour here. No, not that way. Yeah, I had to add these, because, well, again, you get stuck everywhere else. Fuck off. Fuck off. And now there's just two more trainers left. Hold up. Fuck you! Okay, anyways. Here's Evergrande City. Again, not much of a city, it's just one building. I mean, there is a city like that in real life in Alaska, where everyone just lives inside of one building, but... I doubt that's the case here. Although, judging by the size of the island, there's not much room for real estate. Yeah, that wasn't true in Ruby and Sapphire. You didn't have to get the, uh, Knuckle Badge. Because of a programming oversight. Anyways, let's just buy some items. No, I think we are gonna be good. Anyways, we're gonna call it here. Next time, we're taking on the Elite Four. This is it. If you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page. I will see you all next time.